Hello fellow programmers, my name is Pavel and I am doing a C++ exercise from the book uh, Starting out with C++ from the control structures to objects. This is chapter 6, exercise 10, 10 uh, called lowest score drop. We are going to write a program that calculates the average of a group of test scores where the lowest score in the group is dropped. In other words, we will enter 5 scores but the average uh, will be calculated only from the four highest scores. The lowest score will be dropped. Uh, it should include following functions. Uh, get score, which should ask the user for a test score. Store it in a reference parameter variable and validate it. And it is, uh, function should be called by main method once for each of the five scores to be entered. Then we have a function called calculate average and as the name says it, we should calculate and display the average of the four highest scores. This function should be called just once. And find lowest, uh, which will be called by the calculate average function, and uh, it will find the lowest score that needs to be dropped. And we do not accept uh, test scores lower than zero or higher than 100. And after I reviewed the assignment, I decided to do it slightly different way than the uh, I'm going to use some arrays now. If you follow the book, then arrays are the next chapter, so you may not be familiar with them, but uh, this could be a good introduction, I guess, to them. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to use arrays, some loops, and uh, let's get coding. First, I'm going to do... I'm, I'm going to include... Uh, I'm going to be formatting my output a little bit, uh, I'm pretty sure. I usually do, so I'm going to do input output manip uh, library and um, I'm going to do the prototypes, the first thing. So uh, the first one, uh, it says uh, to be get score and they want it to be a void. Um, all right, we can we can do that. So void get score, and it will accept the it will accept an integer for the score, and um, and a reference variable for the the way I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm going to include an integer, a reference integer for total. That will be used to calculate the average. I'm gonna do it all from the get score. So, um, and uh, next one would be a float, and cal this one will return the average. So, calculate uh, average, and it will take the integer for the lowest and integer. For the total, I can as well, you know, what to type them. Uh, eh, never mind. Just that's good enough. That's just the prototypes. So uh, finally, find lowest, and uh, this one will in, uh, return the array, or will accept. I'm sorry, I keep going about the returning, but this will, this one will accept as an argument an array so just like any other argument I, ca I call the uh, array score array so I'm just doing it right in the prototype and it will have five elements in it because we have five uh, scores alright so uh, again get score will accept an integer uh, for the test score and it, an integer which was going to be a reference integer for the total which is going to be calculated later or used for a calculation of the average. Our calculate average will ex accept the integer for the for the lowest number because we are not going to be calculating the average from uh, the lowest uh, score. Remember we are going to only calculate the four highest scores the lowest will be dropped but we need to know which one it is so we're gonna pass it into our calculate average and uh, finally an integer which is going to be the total 
now because that's how you're gonna calculate the average the total divided by four not five because again the lowest score will be dropped all right in the main method i'm going to declare some variables the first one i'll declare this score array which is uh, five elements next one text test score i'll initialize it to zero and uh, float average and it's gonna be a float and uh, integer for the lowest that's the lowest score that's going to be a zero uh, initialized to zero and the total finally it would be again initialized to zero so we have all the variables that we will need now we can uh, you know do some calculations now first thing i need to do i need to get the scores into my array so i'm going to uh, populate the array populate the array and the way to do it is very simple it's a simple for loop integer i uh, i will do I, I st i'll start i from one because we will have score one score two score three and so forth uh, so i'll start from one and loop five times and um, within the loop I'll be adding the uh, test score into the array from the user Im uh, from the user input so um, again remember we got we get a function get score that's where the user input will be happening so uh, over here I'm going to uh, I'm going to declare a a function let me just move this a little higher and uh, the function will be called uh, get score right so uh, it's a void it's a void right yeah void uh, get score integer integer it will accept the test score it will ex accept the uh, integer total that's the uh, reference integer uh, oh, what did I just do I just deleted that anyway so it's the total and um, and you know what it also needs to uh, we need to pass the I to it like the, the what exam is it exam one or two or three whichever we are entering so over here I'm going to also expect uh, integer i which is co going to correspond with the number of the score that we are currently entering again it's gonna be score 1 score 2 score 3 all the way through score 5 so I'll come over here to the prototype and I will do another integer okay so uh, I have get score function created now let's uh, do some logic in it uh, we will ask the user to enter the score please enter test score for exam number and this is where the i will come to place so in other words please enter this test score for the exam number one remember we start from one then we it will say when we uh, for the next one it will say exam number two and so forth so um we have that and uh, we was going we are going to score it store it into our uh, test score so uh, okay so uh, our test score uh, let me just see yeah that, that should that should work and um, okay we need to validate the input remember we do not accept uh, zero or over 100 validate input and uh, the way I'm going to do it I'm going to uh, do another loop uh, I'm going to loop here while our test score is less than zero or our test score is greater than 100 in other words if invalid value is being entered then we are going to uh, output 
uh, please enter valid uh, valid score try again right and uh, the user will try again and we will store it once again into our test score and if the user enters wrong number it will come over here we will test it it's wrong again so once again it will say please enter a valid score and it will be looping until valid score is being entered uh, when the test score is between uh, 0 and 100 okay so now we have that and uh, we can uh, add to the total uh, our total remember it's a, a reference variable so it, it, it's, uh, it will keep increasing uh, the value will be changing each time this uh, function work, uh, is called so our total will simply uh, we will add the current test score to it and we will return it all right so uh, return total um, I'm sorry we will return the test score we don't need to return uh, total because again total is a reference variable it will it will automatically be updated within uh, this function all right so we we have uh, our loop uh, I mean we have a function now we, we go to our loop and call that function our test score uh, our test score which is a variable test score will equal whatever is returned from the get score function and remember the, uh, the function expects an integer of test score so we will pass it to it uh, test score and uh, it expects the i uh, for the number of the score and it expects the total which is the uh, reference variable for the total so now we call the function perform the calculations and we have the uh, result of the calculation being returned and stored into our test score okay so uh, okay so, uh, what, what else do we need to do here um, we got our test score now we need to uh, assign that score to our array for later processing so our score array and that's this the element i but minus one that's because arrays are zero based they start from zero uh, but we are looping from one so element zero will hold the score one element one will hold the, the score two or the exam or the score for the exam number two element uh, two will hold the uh, result of the or the score for the exam number three and so forth so uh, that's why i minus one we have to uh, store it in the proper index of, of the array okay so now we can uh, go and find the lowest score and uh, for that we need a we need a function uh, lowest score I guess uh, that's what I want us to, to call it so uh, find lowest all right so uh, integer wait a minute uh, I just noticed we are returning the test score so this is not a void uh, uh, they wanted us to make it a void but hey I'm returning an integer so there it is uh, integer an integer since I'm going to be I'm not going to display anything within this function I'm going to display everything from the main uh, so that's why I need to return the test score to our main if I wanted to just do all the all the C outs over here in the within get score function then I wouldn't have to return anything I could make it void but so as it stands right now it returns an integer so uh, anyway here's our integer find uh, lowest and it expects the array so uh, integer score array uh, and it expects uh, five elements of the array and um, I'll assume that the smallest one is the first one so I will assign the smallest uh, integer smallest will equal the score array 
element zero. That's the first element. So now I, I have the something to compare it against. I will now compare the element zero with element one, and then and uh, if the if the element one is smaller, then I will assign that value to our uh, variable smallest, and so I will do that within a, a loop to find to loop through all the all those test scores in the array. So uh, I will do four integer i. I will start with one because again we already have element zero taken care of, uh, and i is less than five, and i plus plus. And over here we'll it's a simply if uh, our score array the element i is less than smallest, then our smallest will now equal to the new value, which is score array i. So let's assume I enter the values 2, 3, 4, uh, let's say uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So our smallest equals 5. That's our first element. Now I come over here and check that against the element uh, against the second element which holds the value 4 so is 4 less than what's stored in smallest is the value 5 that's the element 0 yes it is so now smallest will equal 4 and it comes over here and checks the uh, uh, checks it against the the next element which would be element 3 again we started 5 4 3 2 1 so it says all right is 3 less than 4 yes okay so now smallest equals 3 and it will go through all the uh, elements in the array and compare it uh, against the current value that is stored in the smallest and at the end smallest will hold whatever is the smallest uh, value in that array and we have to return it so we will return smallest all right, so now let's calculate the average, uh, and that's our float, uh, calculate average, and it expects an integer that's going to be the lowest, integer lowest, and integer total. Now we don't need it by reference because by now the total is already being Add it up together so now we can simply get the value that is being stored in the variable total and uh, over here I will do uh, remember we are dropping the lowest number so uh, sum of four that's going to be the sum of the four highest uh, test scores and a float average and it will equal to 0, 0.0 and F for the float now sum of 4 will equal the total minus the lowest. All right, again we drop in the lowest. And uh, the average will simply uh, be the sum of 4 divided by 4. I divided by uh, uh, 4 float just so we, we get the decimal points otherwise we would most likely just get the integer value of that calculation but with the uh, defining the 4 as a float it will return a decimal uh, decimal places as well and that's that and uh, we will return the average all right so now we go to our uh, main method uh, we finished our for loop we got our array so now we can do we can call, find the lowest, so we will simply store the oops, our lowest equals, and we will call the function, which is called find lowest, and we will pass the array to it as it expects score array, and this will return the lowest value, and we will store it uh, into our variable lowest. Now. We'll call the we'll calculate the average by simply assigning the return value of the calculate average function, and we pass 
be uh, the lowest, it expects the lowest, and it expects the total. So at the end, we, here we have the, oh, it's, I forgot the equal, here we have the result. This is the average after we dropped the lowest score. All right, so let's just uh, output it. Uh, I'll start on a new line. Uh, the lowest score dropped was, and it was the lowest, uh, lowest. And finally, the average. So see out uh, average. Uh, I forgot the. Uh, okay, so average is. And uh, I will do, uh, since we are getting the decimal places, I will do set precision of two. I'll make it fixed just to format the output a little. And it's going to be the average. Okay, so uh, this should do it. Uh, let me build it and see what I got wrong. And uh, let me see the messages. Expected identifier before the token integer test score integer i oh it I forgot the integer okay so uh, let's try again hey, it looks like it's building and it did all right I didn't even expect that to be honest all right enter score uh, for for exam number one, how about I enter 100? Oh, you know what? It looks like 1,100. I need to make some space there just to. Uh, where's the get score? And over here, I will enter an empty space just to, just to space it out a little. Okay, let's try one more time. So I'll do, let's say, 100, I'll do 50, I'll do 60, 80, and 70. Now, after I enter these, the lowest score, which is 50, should be dropped. And it says the lowest score dropped was 0, which is obviously wrong, and average is 90. Uh, let me see if it actually calculated the average at least correctly. Uh, so 100 plus 50 plus 60 plus... 80 plus 70 divided by 5. Oh, we, we are dropping the score. I'm sorry. So it's 100 plus 60 plus 80 plus 70 divided by 4. And that's not even correct either. Okay, so we got some problem here with the calculation. So let's see uh, what went wrong. And the way it calculates, I'll ask off from the top. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> Over here, I have the score array. I'm calling that element, but I'm not assigning anything to it. Over here, I calculated the score. Now I have to assign it to the actual element. I, I never did that. That's why it was always zero, because uh, by default, all the elements are zero. So uh, test score is the value that we are passing to our array. Uh, let's see if that was that. So let's say 100, I'll do 50, and 80, and 60, and 70. So again, 50 should be dropped. Hey, you did it, it's 50, it's dropped. So let's see uh, if the calculation is correct. So it's 100 plus 80 plus 60 plus 70 divided by 4. And what I, what I think I <laughs> did it wrong. So plus 80 plus 60 plus 70. Uh, well, divided by 4 is 77.5. Okay, so it seems to be calculating correctly. Let me try one more uh, try uh, with the invalid data. Uh, remember, we validated that the test score shouldn't be uh, less than zero, uh, so I'll do negative one. Uh oh, please enter valid score. Try again. So I have about 101. That's over 100. That should not pass, and it didn't. So let's do 80. 
and I do 70, 60, 50, and 40. And 40 was dropped. Let me once more try to make sure that it's correct. 70 plus 60 plus 50, plus, I forgot 80, uh, divided by 4, and it's 65. So that is correct. And now I will do, I will test it with one, one more try in, uh, in that I will start with the lowest value. So 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80, and it did it again. It, uh, I just wanted to make sure that the boundaries are correct. In other words, if I enter the lowest score as the first one, that it will recognize it. And when the, the lowest score is the last element in the array, it still recognizes it. So this seems to be functioning correctly. Uh, again, this is not exactly like they wanted us to do, you know, with the uh, you know, with the void get, get score, void calculate and all that. I'm using array, so, uh, but uh, this is, a, I think, a good exercise, you know, if you could follow this, uh, just type it and see what it does, uh, you know, you have to type these things out, otherwise uh, just watching it is not gonna, gonna do much. You need to practice it, uh, you know, kind of the muscle memory, so to speak. So uh, type it out and observe, you know, what it does, uh, test it with different values. And uh, I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time. Take care.